Hello everybody. Good morning. It is the 15th of January 2021 here in the DC area. And my guides were coming through this morning big time. So as we know, our energy fields surround our body and affect also how our physical body responds and reacts and is synergistic with all the other rhythms that are going on within the organs, the thoughts, etc. So it is our job as spiritual human beings is to protect and love this whole energy spiritual soul in this avatar to respect it with a uh, sacredness. So if we cannot control what is going on around us in our surrounding areas or it just in our, our life on a daily basis in general, it is unfair of us to not have that under control and share the out of controlness that occurs. So if we can practice our own forgiveness, I love you. Thank you for everything that I'm encountering. Because everything that I'm encountering is a is brought into my database and how I allow that to come in and flow is up to me. So I can either react and be all and which is what your energy field does. It goes all over the place, which makes for a nervous wreck. Or you can allow it to come in, give it a nice introduction to the layers of yourself, get it nice and tidy where it's in a place of love, being a little more neutral, so that what you expand out is love. No matter how anything in the exterior world is affecting you. So it's super important to know it's your job to clean your energy. It's your job to clean your energy. So before you enter a room, you clean yourself. When you exit the room, you take yourself with you leaving things as they were. That is how we're to be in our daily life. It is not our business to collect everybody else's stuff and then carry it all out everywhere and scatter and spew it. So as I bring this back into the topics that were coming up this morning is there is a lot of energetic static creating many communication timelines and many that are incorrect and many that are getting jumbled and disrupted and downright cut off and a lot of people are waiting for things to occur so that they know if what they believe is the right belief system. So the messages that came through were in order to serve the highest timeline, the highest timeline with the smoothest, 
silkiest, happiest, loving timeline. We have to take responsibility for ourselves so that we are a beacon of light, a beacon of peace, a beacon of holding space. So if the nasty energy that's all over the place can scatter and start to affect other people, like bizarre magnets, and it sets all them off, imagine what the power of containing and coming from a place of your heart. Heart and high heart. Okay? So when you're observing through these systems right here, these calm down and pick up the rhythm of this. And that's what you want to That is the place you want to be. So whatever's going on around you, if you can send out beacons of love and forgiveness and thank yous. To all parties that are connected to outcomes of what's about to occur in the next few days on earth. So get your, get your heart in the right mindful conscious place, which will get your body and all your physical rhythms, the rhythms of all of it those in marching order within yourself and see the timelines that you desire of freedom, of love, of safety, of respect and come back to that sacred heart every time you get a ping of whoo Ooh, stuff's happening. That ping is to remind you, oh, it's my, my duty. It's my job. This is sacred energy. I am a sacred vessel holding sacred energy. It is my job. My one job is to maintain that energy to the best of my abilities to resonate the healthy, healthy love to myself and echo that out to others, especially in this chaotic, turmoilish time of need. Be a peacekeeper. Maintain your vessels. Stay in tune in that way, and I can promise you, your inner guidance system will begin to navigate automatically. It'll have an autonomic response as you maintain it. And imagine that powerful, loving energy going out to all the heads of beings of whatever it is for the highest good of humanity here on earth as well as everywhere else. Much light and love to each and every one of you. 
And until more messages come through, I'm going to be in this energy. Because I've got to be out in it today. Right? So...